Hello, and welcome to my review of the Naboo Swamp. This is set 7121. It's from 1999. It has four minifigures and has 49 pieces. It originally costed $10, and now it's going for around $19 used and $42 new. So this set depicts the beginning of um, episode 1 of Star Wars, where Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi land on Naboo in the swamps and meet Jar Jar. The first of the four minifigures included in this set that we're going to take a look at is Jar Jar Binks, who, of course, is everyone's favorite. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have leg printing. He just has plain dark gray legs. My legs, I guess, are a little bit yellowed on my copy. Uh, moving up, he has a pretty simple shirt design, which was probably good for 1999, but probably wouldn't cut it today. And moving again, moving up, we have the same headpiece that is still used to this day for the Gungans, but it's unprinted. It has the duck bill, the nostrils, and the eyes, and then around the back it has the kind of elephant-ish ears. And there's nothing under the ears, he doesn't have any back printing. So next up is Qui-Gon Jinn. He has, uh, just like Jar Jar, his legs are not printed, they're just plain brown. This was at a time when Lego was still doing yellow skinned minifigures for Star Wars, so as you can see, he has yellow skin. His torso is just the normal the Jedi torso from the time, and he has dot eyes. I actually think his torso is pretty nice for the time with all the folds and stuff. He also has this hairpiece, which is still used for quite Gungeon minifigures still to this day. You can see he has the beard and the mustache on the face. And there's no double-sided face. They weren't doing double-sided faces at this time. As you can see, just like Jar Jar, he also does not have back printing. But he does come with this lightsaber, which is green and has the nice old chrome hilt, which looks really nice. The other two minifigures in this set are battle droids, which you may or may not count as figures, depending on what you think. But this is the same battle droid that we still see today, except it has um, the two straight arms, rather than one of each, a straight and a curved. And it has this jumper on the back, which is representing a backpack. Other than that, it's completely the same as the ones that we still get. And you get two of the exact same in this set. You also get two steps for each one of your battle droids in this set. They're, they are exactly the same, and they're a pretty simple build. Um, you have two bars on the top which would be shooting, you have these two um, kind of megaphone pieces which are the engines and you have one of these uh, spear bike triangle sign things here and you have this clear pole with a dish on the bottom to allow it to fly. You do get two exactly the same ones. These are brown and completely the same. You can, the battle droids are just attached by attaching their hands to this um, bar piece here, like so. And that's the same for both of them. The main build of this set is the Naboo Swamp, as the set name might suggest. It's a okay build for the time. In today's standards, though, it does look a little bit blocky because these are literally made out of bricks. Um, 
you have a couple of these kind of seaweed pieces attached here, 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 and here. You have some vines hanging down from the top, which looks nice. And the dirt is represented by these brown bricks here. You also have this um, clam here, which you can open like all Lego clams. And inside there is a stud that you can put things on. From the back, you can see nothing special. So overall, I like this set, but I think it's kind of hard to hold it up to today's standards since it's almost 22 years old. But I think for a set of its time, it's pretty good. It's um, a bit higher than 10 cents per piece, but I think that's fine for what you're getting. And I would recommend this set if you are interested in it, because it is an older set. Um, bye.